Welcome to Famous Fortunes. Hope you're well. Today we're looking at uh, Camilla. Apparently she, I'm seeing news articles now, she lives in dread of Harry's memoir. She's so worried and, you know, you know, anxious and all the rest of it that Prince Harry's going to drop a bomb on her or something. I have no idea. I have no idea. Why would Camilla, because anyone in the audience know, why would Camilla give two flying you-know-whats about what Harry says, you know, she's a future queen consort. What is it? What's Harry going to do? You know, I mean, like, she, if I was Camilla about Harry who, you know, like Harry who, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, sort of, what's he going to do? Say some nasty things. I mean, what's, what's he going to say? I don't know. Uh, lives in dreads, a big statement here. This author's making. So we're going to find out today is, is she living in dread? Question numero uno. Uh, is she living in dread? Dread. Oh no! I mean, I think Camilla is fully aware of everything that's happened with Charles and all the rest of it. You know, I mean, it is what it is. Like it's been, this has been this way for <laughs> decades now, folks. I'm only living in dread. Or are you going to say going to criticise me? Oh no! And you know, to be fair as well, I think it's fair to say when things like this happen, the fault isn't on the new woman, it's the faults on, you know, if the, if, I'm not saying there's fault, but if there is fault, I'm not, it's not for me to decide, I'm not going to weigh in on that debate, but if there is fault, it's the person who chose to, to move on, you know, but, you know, let it be known, I don't know, folks, I don't know, I don't know anymore, I don't know, I never did, folks, I never did, the, the scorched earth left by Diana still smoulders, I mean, talk about amping, amping things up, Scorched earth still smoulders. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, folks. Any event, let's move on. Cards are hot. Is Camilla living in fear of the day Harry tells all about how naughty everyone's been? The magician, high priestess, interesting cards here. Six of cups. The world and the chariot, underlying energy, the eight of wands. I tell you what, she's not living in what is it, fear or dread? I, there's no dread here, folks. I, you know, no dread whatsoever. I thought there was some BS to this article. <laughs> Let that be known. Big bunch of smoldering BS here with the magician. They're creating a hype here. They're creating a hype and a mythology around Diana. I think that they're trying to... This is They're trying to attack, actually. Fair enough. I think what's happening here, they're trying to attack the Duchess of Cornwall before the MMY even drops. So, all right, moving along. I'm not going to pay that anymore. Sort of lip service. My lips are moved on now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Tina Brown? What are you going to do? Listen to this subtitle. This is, Will it cause her deeply rehabilitated image to suffer? Mate, if you'd see my eyes right now, they'd be rolling so hard in the back of my head. Her deeply rehabbed image to suffer. Oh, no. Sure, okay. I think the question on everyone's lips and in mind and, you know, everything is, you know, when when's Prince Harry going to get a deeply rehabbed image? I mean, let's, come on, let's, like... Let's not ignore the elephant in the room, the gigantic elephant that just keeps taking a dump on our heads every day. So, it's the gift that keeps on giving, that's what I say, folks. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Fertilizer. I mean, you got to take that crap and you just got to make fertilizer out of it, you know, and put it on the plants and this and that, the veggies, the garden, you know, make something good out of it. All right, let's go. Cards are hot. King of Wands. I forgot the question. Queen of Swords. The Fool. Justice. Three of Wands. The Hierophant. Well. I'm assuming, just because I can't remember the question, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming that... Uh, this is to do with the book and what's going to be said. So, A Fool's Tale. <laughs> is that the title of the book? No, I don't know. But I think uh, there's going to be some 
attempt at making some restitution for what, you know, what happened here, attempt at righting some wrongs against the royal family as well. I mean, maybe William here was a baddie. There's a woman here that was probably, you know, not good as well. And, you know, poor old, poor old Harry, I guess, the fool, uh, young and innocent, all the rest of it. What's this card here? They're waiting for what to come in? The Ten of Swords. Waiting for this. Oh, maybe. Okay, so maybe. I don't know about the Ten of Swords, but maybe they're going to talk about how. Hmm. Maybe they're waiting. They're waiting for their time to um to go on the offensive against Camilla. That's that's kind of actually ties into the last spread as well. So let that be known. Let that be known, folks. Let that be known. All right. Yikes. Yikes. Do you want to do a book update? Let's find out. How's the book going? Is it finished? Is it finished yet? Cards are hot. Was it? I just can't get over that photo that I that we saw of them at the event, and they're sitting down. It reminds me of the UN photo. I'm sure this is going to be discussed. Where was it? Uh, can't find it. But uh, it's like you know, twelve people there. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, cards are hot. What have we got? Six of Wands, the Lovers. King of Swords, Ace of Wands. I've told this, I've actually mentioned this before, that it's not Harry writing this, it's Harry's writing this in conjunction with someone else. So let that be known. I would say it's fair to say Megan and Harry are writing this memoir. Really, that's who the real authors are. Uh, they're working on it still. They're working on it. Now, I don't know what this King of Swords is. Could it be Charles? Yes. Is it going to be a real Charles hit piece? Yeah, probably. I think so. I think it's going to be a Charles hit piece deluxe. Uh, a deluxe edition of a Charles hit piece. There's a real possibility of that, but I'm telling you, there's two authors here. It's not just Harry. And uh, I think it's Harry and uh, uh, the other Sussex. The other Sussex. Yeah, they're working on it. So it's not finished yet. That's what I see. They're still working on it. They're probably having to change the narrative every, you know, a couple of weeks just to sort of make sure they get the right angle of attack. Because I thought the memoir was meant to be out before the Jubilee. So uh, let it be known. Let it be known, folks. Uh, if you have a question for a future episode, let it be known in the comments. If you'd like to support the channel, join Team Famous Fortunes, all the things, uh, all the things. I'll see, I, I read the comments. You know this. So I'll see you in the comment section.